Hello, and welcome back to Halls of Torment. We are going to be doing a run with the Norsemen today because we are going to be trying to unlock um, these three new things, Trade of, uh, Frost Affinity, Spirit Warrior, and or Multi-Strike. So we have to land hits with your axes in one run, do physical damage in one run, and kill 5,000 uh, enemies with the Frost Effect. We can probably do two of the three of those things. Um, we're also going to do it on Frozen Depths and on Agony, like always, because we want to challenge. And the base game of this game, the base difficulty of this game is challenging, don't get me wrong, but it's not as challenging. We can always make it harder, right? It's really nice that they start off with a scroll right at the beginning here. There's no frost effect here, so we're actually going to scrap it. Um, normally, I would not suggest scrapping scrolls, but because we're on Agony, the chance that we get more scrolls is actually pretty high. Oh yeah, so they said that they updated this thing. So remaining number of hits until a frost nova is triggered. Cast an AoE applying frost enemies. Okay, so they did actually do an update explaining how frost nova works. And I think that's what they meant by that. So basically, the number of times we hit triggers the frost nova. So we want attack speed, which we always want attack speed. So that's fine. This guy doesn't hit terribly hard. And the starting enemies here are quite durable. So we have to work on that. Um, crit chance will get us to do more physical damage. So we might run a bit more of a typical kind of crit damage build. We also want area, because the Frost Nova is going to be very affected by area. I actually haven't been on this map since the first two times, the first time I played this with the Sorceress. Um, I've been playing maps based off of who I'm playing because I've been trying to get all these marks, which I have not actually successfully got a single mark yet. Um, it's pretty hard to do. Um, I'm kind of impressed with how hard it is because it's going to keep me playing this game for quite a while. Uh, none of these are great, so we'll take more area. That'll make my character stronger in general because his uh, melee attack. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I do actually send out a kind of a little bit of a cone in front of me. I just noticed that there was uh, attack speed there. I should have probably taken the attack speed. Um, oh yeah, as far as equipment goes, we're taking a attack speed crown for kills. This will come in more handy later. Pickup range gloves, armor, and defense on our... our uh, chest and boots. We got the Gatherer's Charm, like always, and at least until that is done. And then we have extra attack damage and um, a chance that our attacks turn into AoEs. I don't want to get rid of these crystals. Attack speed. Probably one of our highest priorities right now is attack speed. Uh, none of these are great, and I really want some good stuff right at the beginning here. I don't know what the other proficient stance is, so I'm going to take more attack speed. Like I just said two seconds ago, it is a high priority for us. Ooh, these crystals have a block chance. That's why they're not dying that fast. It means that they're blocking some of my damage. Also, my other dedication is health and, and regen. So I don't think I'm going to... I think I'm going to kind of go a little bit more offensive than usual. We do need, like, actually require um, a certain amount of defense for Agony here. Because you're just... I don't think it's possible to not take damage. I really don't think it's possible. Hmm. Crit chance on uh, proficiency. It's pretty good. I don't know what the other proficiency does off the top of my head, so we're going to take um, my proficient stance for damage and health. Because I know that I don't want my other proficient stance because it was just HP regen. Which we'll probably want eventually, but not right now. And by probably, I mean we'll definitely want that eventually. Um, okay, so that's my dedication. Movement and attack speed, yeah. I think we we pretty much... 
want always attack speed whenever it's an option. These guys have a weird movement pattern. They kind of like wiggle back and forth. Oh, there's my other weapon for efficiency. I'm glad I waited. Range, multi-strike, and area. Yeah, that's that's way better than just a little bit of crit chance. Because we'll probably get close to full crit chance without taking that proficiency, so... Let's see. Let's go ahead and re-roll. Hmm... Yeah, we'll take our chance. At this point, one of the biggest things we need is attack speed and damage. And we are starting to get low on HP, so we might start taking some healing here soon, too. Yeah, I'll take I'll take go ahead and take regeneration right now, actually. And we'll fight while looking for some healing. There's like an inherent inaccuracy to my uh, swings here. That's kind of hard to get over, get used to. Oh, I almost died. I'm really, really close to death and uh, that fireball almost hit me. Like I was, I knew I was close to death, but uh, that fireball passed way too close to my body. Okay, there's some HP. Even though, um, we aren't getting our agony that high. We are still being affected by being on agony mode here, by having extra elites and stuff like that. And enemies just have more HP and such. Okay, so this is, we're going to go ahead and take a tincture and take double regeneration here. I think we kind of have to. Oh, freaking sniped with the high speed. Okay, we're gonna just run that back super fast. Sniped by a high-speed skull from off-screen. Damn. Okay. I think this time we're going to take something here, no matter what, because I think we need it. This character is kind of, kind of rough at the beginning. Uh, all of these suck. I wish I had a way to reroll these, which might come eventually, but I don't have it right now. Well, I just noticed we don't actually have any reagents to find on this floor right now. At least these arcane splinters will be doing a little bit more damage. Damage again. Let's see. Crit chance. What is our base crit chance? That's a good thing to check. Oh, 40%? Yes, yeah, so we definitely want a lot of crit chance then. We also we definitely want a lot of crit stuff, that is, sorry. Just forty percent base crit chance. That's actually kind of freaking amazing. Um so at two here, two upgrades, we're already at 50% crit chance. So this is definitely a crit focused character, realistically speaking. Um, attack speed. Attack speed is actually just like straight damage for this character because of the fact that it'll get my Nova going off more often. But we also need range and um, area pretty heavily because as it stands, I'm only hitting a very small amount of enemies at a time. Um, let's go ahead and reroll this. Yeah, I'll take range. So 
Not gonna be a big effector right now. Big change, but um, it'll help a little bit. Damage. It's all kind of just stacks up over time. I would say we're doing a little bit better than we were doing last time. Although we weren't we didn't start having troubles until the first elite last time either, so kinda hard to say. Well there's the first elite, so that's a guaranteed elite. That's actually a, a map elite, not a agony elite then. Uh, him having armor is a pain in the butt. We are not good at killing elites, man. We are not good at killing elites. Damage bonus on the crits is good because we have a 50% crit chance already. Let's see, more range will be helpful. So we're not hitting that many enemies at once right now. Crit bonus. We don't really want that dedication. We want the other one. Bringing us up to 60% crit chance. Yeah, but the other thing is um, a whole bunch of area and everything like that. So I don't really want it. Yeah, multi strike and range and area. That's much better, in my opinion. There are two of those motherfuckers now. There's a champion one and there's a normal boss one. Not ideal. You can tell the champions because they have the gold outlines. I was forced to walk into that. I can't even reach the champion or the other guy because of them just kind of like standing in my way. Uh, some more attack speed, always good. Dedication. Definitely take the attack speed and move speed. Attack speed is starting to get there. So many blocks. The way these guys move can be really dangerous. 55%. That's pretty good. They kind of toss themselves in front of you. If you try and get around them, then you just run into them. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen there. We're going to take double attack speed on this one. That's 20% attack speed. Because we need some... We need some upgrades now. Ah, uh, see? These little crystal things are smart. They, they're intentionally aiming to try and get in front of me. And we got another elite. Okay, we're going to take another one of these as doubled. So we're going to double the range area and multi-strike chance, which puts our multi-strike at... 
25% chance. Very good. Kind of trying to use some of these walls to kind of block some of the enemies here. Um, more damage. Kind of doing a little glass cannon here. Okay, we killed one of the elites, finally. Try to kill all these uh, agony champions now, though. Let's try and get to the thing that they dropped. We're going to take the metabolism, because we're going to start probably taking damage soon. And we haven't really been healing pretty much at all. We actually have some range now, though, so that's good. Um, again, none of these are super good for me, so I just will, I'll take Lightning Strike just because it's a good amount of damage. And I don't feel like we have a choice on not taking one right now. We're too, we're too close to the edge of, uh, undamage here. Something's shooting ice waves at me now. Great. More time speed. I will actually have to say that this might be one of the harder characters. Okay, we got that guy to d down. Starting to actually get pretty strong here, fortunately. I do feel like the enemies are still getting stronger faster than we are, and you can kind of tell we're not doing good because the agony bar has not moved. Oh man, these guys hit so freaking hard. We need more defense. Be recovered. Grants 10 defense for. Recover. I don't want the helm because my helm is pretty good. Go ahead and take that. Ow! And speaking of, we're going to take some extra defense super fast. Because I actually think it might be a little necessary to take some defense right now. Okay, being close to this guy sucks. Yeah. We took the movement speed there because, um... It's gonna help us get out of the way of some of this stuff. Oop, sorry, I just punched my microphone while trying to scratch my head. Um, let's see, crit chance, electrify chance, and electrify damage. We don't really care about the... Electrify stuff, but we do care about crit chance and area. It means our lightning will crit more, which is good because we already have a high base crit chance as the character. Yeah. That puts us. Wait, why are we back down to 55? What, what was that upgrade? Piercing wind? Was that not base crit chance for my whole character? Oh, I just noticed that was crit bonus, not crit chance. Gotcha. So we're at 90% bonus damage on a crit chance. I was very confused. I was just like, wait, how did I not get crit chance off of a 10% bonus? But it's because that was damage. Getting a little hairy, little hairy. Yeah. I don't know. 
slowly move away from things and uh, kill these crystals for items as much as possible, see if we can find some healing. The little chimera thingy is here now. It's not great. Technically, this 15% bonus is, I think, more damage than 10% strength. Silly little hits like that. I really want to get rid of this guy because these little ice waves that he's sending out keep nicking me. Uh, not a lot of great options right there, so we're just going to take the regen. Missing HP, so regen's good. Doesn't help that this guy is also blocking. I swear, the ice area is just like everyone has a freaking block here. Come on, he's almost dead. There we go. Got him down. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Of course, he only just died in time for me to have several more elites on my butt now. So we have a lot more problems now. Again, nothing amazing here, so we'll upgrade lightning. Kind of want frost, but... Oh wow, this guy is going down really fast. Th well, thank you. Why is that guy so fast? Sliding around like a freaking ice skate, ice skater. At high speeds. Forcing me to only deal with him right now because he's so freaking fast. Got another guy down. God, I think that guy was one of the ones sending projectiles at me. Good chance. We're up to 60% now. Oof, I'm down. Okay. Let's swing back around and grab the scroll and see if we can get a frost ability. So we're still trying to... And I think the scrolls down here are closer. Yeah, they're moving a little bit faster on the minimap. So these are the closer ones. Okay. Frost Avalanche! There we go. That's what we wanted from the get-go. Now that will stack up our Nova. multi strike range and area, of course. Okay, we're, we're doing okay now. We're doing okay. We're not doing good. Because again, you would know we're doing good if our agony bar was going up. Forced range and damage. Right at its uh, frost chance. Yep. I got more frost chance now. And frost does do AoE. Whenever something dies or gets procced on the frost chance, it uh, explodes for AoE. So that's just gener generally a good thing for us to have frost. Or I should say more frost. We actually do have base frost with the uh, Nova. Those are actually weirdly hard to dodge in the middle of everything else going on.
It's like, they're obviously not hard to dodge on their own. Just they're, you know, relatively slow-moving projectiles, but, um... When there's other things happening, it gets to be a little rough. Or if they come off screen, because the farther they travel, the faster they go. So they'll kind of, like, snipe you from off screen sometimes. Can't go that way. I want to go that way. I have mixed feelings about this map. It's um, both harder and, like, there's some strategy to playing on this one because of all of the, the uh, obstacles in your way. So... The crit chance on this one. We're up to 50%. It's a pretty good crit bonus, actually. So my lightning should be doing a ton of damage at this point. It is random, though. Can't really control it. Hmm... None of these are actually going to really help me, so I am actually going to spend that for ESP because we have more scrolls on the ground right now, and I kind of want the level up. <laughs> um, we're going to take Bulwark. What's my defense? 22? Yeah, that could go up. Okay, we're going to save this one until we have three things in Frost Nova. We want to upgrade Frost Nova. Because right now, that would only give me a new thing. Force range and damage. Okay. It's okay. is not the best situation. We're gonna try and sneak through here. That was a terrible idea. Oh my gosh, that was so much damage. I think we need area. At least we got some level ups from that. I don't really care about the unhit chance, so having a bunch of extra damage on it is actually really good. Get our defense up. Break more of these things. Just don't do a lot of damage, really. Like, this Hydra's still here because of how little damage we do. Explosive Strike. It's nice. It's an upgrade for Lightning. I think we have both upgrades for Lightning now. Well, two of the three. There's actually a third one that I have unlocked right now. Um, basically, uh, the lightning does an AoE now, I think it is. Let's remind ourselves. Oh, it won't tell me there. That's unfortunate. I was going to remind myself what that does, but it won't tell me. Okay, how many upgrades for, for uh, that's two. We want one more upgrade from Frost, and then we'll pick up another scroll. I'm gonna try and kind of circle around these scrolls here. I wonder if Frost has a slow component because it would be kind of nice if it did. As it stands, I don't know if there is a way for us to slow enemies. I think it's mostly just um, stun and. Um, Ah, oh, this is great. I'll take the Lightning Infinity. More damage. It's the only real damage that was on that list there. So far, the only thing I can think of is, like, stun and 
various status effects that just do damage in various different ways. Like fire is damage over time that stacks up. Uh, lightning is damage over time that kind of expends itself. Um, frost is like a little AOE explosion of, again, damage. And I can stun things, various things that say that they stun, but there's no status effect that causes any sort of actual status effect. Like, like there's no CC or anything like that. Um, and I think a little bit of CC would actually go a long way in this game. Um, it might be too strong, though. I don't actually know. I don't know if it would be too strong. Like, most of the stuns are, like, micro-stuns. They're, like, for, like, 0.2 seconds or something like that. But they still feel really good, even being micro stuns. There's all of our damage potential on the main damage skill, that is. Um, when hits drop spikes on the ground, they deal 100 damage and stun the enemy on contact. That's pretty cool. What's well, so church? Killing enemy has a chance to give you health point. Um, we're going to equip that right away. We actually really want to bring that back, but I also really want it for this run. So we're going to continue to wear it. And... If we get to the point where we might lose, I might take it off and go, like, put it away. Because we kind of really want that. It's a really good item, and I've only gotten it once or twice on the opportunity to, like, take it with us. Hey, we're actually starting to get agony, so that's good. Okay, that's our third frost. We're going to come over here and grab this. Spawn additional projectiles while moving. Awesome. Oh, so it gets it gets like little balls now. Those are that's actually new. I hadn't actually seen that before. Yeah, we're starting to do better. We're actually starting to kind of catch up in damage here. We've killed a lot of our elites. That's really helpful. Force range and damage. That's good. Can we get another frost upgrade, maybe? I might have to turn down the transparency of my um, abilities, because the abilities here blend in so well with the background and the enemies that I'm actually having a hard time seeing where I'm supposed to be dodging my enemies. What the hell is that? I don't remember fighting that thing here. Well, we got one achievement, trained to Norseman, hit level 60. Crit chance area, yep, sure. Kind of very crit focus build, so having all that crit chance in area is just good for us. It's like it's clear sailing to this. Yeah, even more frost. Last regeneration. Wow, I just saw one of our lightning strikes. Uh, they it looks like they're doing about four thousand damage right now. So our lightning strikes are in fact doing great work, and they're about to do fifteen percent more damage as well. So that's even better. Kind of like the lightning for not necessarily striking a whole lot, like maybe not having the best attack speed, but just hitting really hard. So whatever they hit, I just want it to die. And hopefully it hits a boss every once in a while. So otherwise the 4,000 damage is a little wasted on a normal enemy. You know, this thing over here is saying the remaining number of hits um, until Frost Nova is triggered, but I've never actually seen the cooldown on it move. Maybe I'm just missing it, but I don't think I am. Oh, okay, I actually see it moving now. I glanced over in the middle of combat. Okay, Bladestorm. We uh, deal, dealt a certain number of physical damage in a run, so that helps. That's an another Norseman thing, one of our one of our goals. We're going to try and see if we can stay close to this boss to see if we can kill him.
kind of have to run a little bit because there was a pretty big wave coming in from behind us there. Oh man, this is unfortunate. Oh, that's really sucked. Got trapped. Pushed against the wall. Um, yeah, we're gonna take the health regen because we're doing okay on damage now. Not great, but okay. And uh, we need we need to be able to survive. In fact, we're going to move towards one of these scrolls over here. What just hit me? I don't even know what hit me. I just heard that I took damage, and that's all I know. I feel like the music on this particular map is just a little too calm for what's going on. Is that another spider with that much HP, or is I just really haven't damaged that spider that much? Jeez. We have no freaking damage. I keep thinking that we do, and then we just, like, see an elite that is just basically completely unharmed. What hit me? I have no idea. Oh, there's a little guy shooting little fireballs that, in the midst of all of the everything else happening, I'm not noticing them. Gotta pay a lot of attention to those. Because they're just gonna slowly whittle me down. I think we're pretty close to um, the scroll now. See? Just whittling me down. Being far away from him is actually not super good for us either because, yeah, they start moving so fast that I actually saw that one coming and that one. I see them coming, but he's so far away that um, I can't actually dodge them properly. Because they start moving faster the farther they, they travel. But we really want to be on the, on the move here. Try and find healing. Especially since he's going to keep sniping me from off screen. And it seems like this item is pretty far away. There it is. A little bit of healing. Fortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to clear the room in order to be able to get to the damn item. The sniping! It is literally going to be the death of me. Great, even more snipers. Exactly what I needed right now. You. You and your sniping ways. You need to die. Oh, good. That was a healing potion. Um, yep. Yeah. There's a lot of experience on the ground. I know that because I've still been killing. We haven't leveled in a while. Generally, the leveling is pretty consistent in this game. Oh, great. Something's summoning... Oh, my gosh. This is the end. Yep. I couldn't keep up with the damage. This just wasn't enough damage. But we did unlock Spirit Warrior and Berserker Boots. Whew. I feel like we did about as good as we can do on the Norseman. I think maybe the Norseman might be a little underpowered for now. Um, I'm just seeing what else I could have grabbed. I mean, I even had a healing item. Jeez. Maybe the move speed? Yeah, I'm not sure. I will have to give this guy a try uh, at some other point, because I definitely want the Frost Affinity. Um, that's a trait that is kind of like whenever I got the, the Fire Infinity and Lightning Affinity. Whenever you have Frost, you can get that trait show up in a run, and it'll make just all your Frost better. 
But anyways, this has been Halls of Torment. Hope you guys are enjoying the episodes. I'm trying my best to uh, both make this interesting and to uh, get actual progress done. But yeah, if you guys like it, you know, feel free to like, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, just helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.